Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Меня зовут Илья. Hello, dear friends. My name is Ilya Shupanov, and I'm going to be moderating a quick session here at Positive Hack Days on the IT and InfoSec market analytics. Let me welcome our guests. We've got with us Kirill Lukashuk, CEO of National Credit Ratings Agency, Alexander Levashov, Chief Editor, T Advisor Analytical Center. Colleagues, Аналитику рынка, да, и Б, наверное, да, так как мы на market analytics. And since we are at positive hack days, and they're all about information security, it's something that is the focus of our attention here. From any perspective, uh, things changed uh, since the end of February, and I was trying to analyze the market myself. I don't understand where to start. What should be the starting point? All our uh, traditional methods do not work. The reports or past reports on how the company uh, or a company will be growing, it doesn't matter anymore. Well, thank you very much. It's my first time here. Thank you for inviting. Uh, things changed uh, dramatically and historic. Uh, data is no longer relevant. The macroeconomic uh, dynamics and external restrictions create the situation of complete uncertainty. In March, things were very quiet. People would be planning just for one day and they would be analyzing uh, in the one day dimension. Now we we have a better reference plane, and in our rating agency, we focus on the future. And the best uh, helpers uh, to us in our work are the companies themselves. Before February, we could uh, take an outsider view of uh, the companies we could work with uh, public data. Now to get quick feedback from companies through interviews or questionnaires is perhaps the only way over short periods of time we are not uh, making any plans even for a year, maybe a quarter, two quarters ahead. This is our current uh, time frame. And, uh, and now I uh, want to address, to use this opportunity to address the companies and the industries not to close off. Uh, given the circumstances, there is huge trend to uh, cut off information uh, supply. Well, we didn't have much information anyway. Well, yes, but now we are having even less than well, less than that. People are uh, using the current uh, situation not to disclose anything about themselves, but think about your future. Shareholder value and uh, market capitalization it's not going to disappear, right? So let's share the information uh, and use it for anal analysis. Okay, which parameters can we analyze today, Alexander? Which companies, I mean, how do you filter them? How do you sort them? A company is uh, in operation today and it's gone tomorrow. Today it's a... Uh, an emerging startup and uh, tomorrow it's gone because it cannot uh, pay off the credits. Yeah. Well, um, analytics or intelligence consists of several segments, right? There is uh, qualitative and quantitative analytics. There is analytics uh, for the purposes of forecasting, and there is analytics of uh, historical data. In the COVID times, in the last two years, it became much more difficult to do qualitative analysis. Not all companies are happy to disclose their numbers, and they are no longer willing to share their forecasts. Already in 2020, 2021, it became difficult to get the forecasts out of the companies. COVID changed the market as substantially, and it was hard to predict what would happen tomorrow. Now it's next to impossible. <laughs> and the special operation killed off analytics, right? Well, yeah, kind of. Not all of it, though. Of course, you can't do much with qualitative analytics. 
but the, uh, or rather quantitative analytics, but there is qualitative analytics and your understanding of trends and the understanding of the demand. When talking to customers, you can make assumptions as to which of their products will be in demand. Um, yes, but uh, it's hard to get numbers today. Like you were saying, I agree. Today, probably, we need to um, focus on analyzing trends uh, and the impact of the macro environment onto our market rather than what we did before uh, when we would be drawing pie charts and uh, uh, growth graphs year on year. Probably you can do it today, but it would be meaningless. Yeah. Yes, if. I mean, you see how fast uh, things are changing. Working with customers and with their information is uh, probably the only source uh, that we have. Budgets are changing. Budgets are being reviewed together with priorities and financial capabilities. The companies respond to the current situation differently. Some won, some lost. There are some companies that actually won from uh, what is being happening right now. Uh, so we'll uh, analyze that. And companies themselves, like I said, uh, they are a good source of information, especially if the information can be verified through third parties. To go back to buy charts and market shares, no, the number ones, the number twos, exactly, yes. Uh, so now, currently, uh, most of foreign vendors left the Russian market or they suspended their operations or they are, you know, sitting on the quiet and uh, it would be uh, impossible to get any numbers or any other information from them. But in the information security markets, I mean, uh, we have hundreds of players and we have dozens of segments and these segments are not disappearing so we will continue analyzing russian players and those companies who decided to stay and for them the numbers will not be predictive rather they will be analyzing the uh, past periods data uh, especially if you have data year by year the annual reports but does it make sense to to do this kind of analysis like like you were saying today the uh, only the only uh, thing worth analyzing is qualitative information but okay in a particular segment you have one two three of russian vendors but uh, not more than that i mean we all know in every segment who is number one who's number two and actually even uh, those numbers are not important they do not matter there is a leader there is the follower but does it make sense to to um, report market shares or anything well, actually, yes, I think it makes sense. Uh, we are not, it's not about the whole market of information security as such, but we need to identify the segments that the customers want to see products in. And in those segments, uh, there will be top fives, top sevens, top uh, tens. It's not like we have a couple of companies only in each of these segments. Uh, a rating is not uh, for the vendor only a rating exists also in the interests of the uh, customer uh, the customers use ratings to uh, uh, to organize tenders to enter into negotiations with different vendors speaking about uh, various pie charts and everything the market size but you have to also remember about the general financial situation of these companies uh, what their financial standing is to go back to the uh, meaning of business they want to attract uh, investment they want to uh, be financially sound information security has always been a closed market but the need in resources even in this market is pretty high and in order to get this need uh, addressed uh, the outsiders need to understand what these companies uh, look like uh, how they feel them I talked to many vendors and they were saying it's important for us, we need to see the numbers, to talk to financial institutions, we need to present ourselves to them. Exactly, a JP Morgan report uh, on a particular sector, its dynamics, its financial standing, its indebtedness, its uh, revenue dynamics. So I agree, uh, we need numbers, we still need numbers, we need time series so that 
When the years go by, we will be able to see how the company survived this period, uh, what was happening to them in the difficult times. A quick comment. The investors who uh, wanted uh, to find startups with international ambitions. Many of the investors are now switching to domestic players. Uh, they understand all about import substitution. It can't be on government the government sector. Uh, it affects now not only government-owned companies, but also the commercial sector. So the potential there is very high. Investors are uh, looking at the sector and they need the numbers to be guided by. And then there are regulators, FSB, FSTEC, uh, the Ministry of Industry, the Ministry of uh, telecom, they also need numbers. Why do they need numbers? Well, to provide support or to offer targeted support to different players. I mean, there are all kinds of, uh, or not to use, or not to apply, exactly, or not to apply any targeted support. The numbers can be uh, used as an argument in the dialogue with the regulator when different uh, initiatives have been launched, not or not to harm. The InfoSec market, not IT, well, maybe, yeah, the IT market in general, how sensitive, how painful is the departure of uh, IDC, Gartner, Forrester, as far as I understand, these companies also uh, suspended their work here because, I mean, many, again, were guided by the opinion of these companies because they're big brands, they are well known. When we did analytics ourselves, it, our analytics was not treated the same as the analysis performed by international companies. Does it give us a chance as analysts to uh, for our voice to be heard better, or this niche will be left unoccupied. Well, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing still, because competition is always good, and it promotes products, it promotes industries. You have to uh, think better than your neighbor to win in this competition, so it's bad. Uh, it's bad. Uh, whether it's a chance or it's not a chance for Russian analysts, well, yes, of course, it's a chance, but it's a chance that will not be uh, becoming true without any uh, feedback from the customer companies. Of course, we do not have as much reputation as international uh, colleagues had, and it will take time for us to build up this reputation, but we have several years to do it. I agree, it's not, it's not like it's a chance, but it's, it's an obvious thing. I mean, it's apparent that you need to move into the niche now that it's vacated. And we did it and we uh, will co continue building up our uh, capacity. But if you uh, review key reports of ITC on uh, the main industries that they made public, they are mostly analyzing foreign vendors. Foreign vendors are no longer with us. So the methods that the IDC used they used uh, questionnaires, they used uh, interviews, they, uh, um, you know, they've been using these practices for years, uh, and even if I, IDC stayed, uh, they wouldn't have much to analyze left. Right, another important aspect is analysis of technology and analysis of products. To give Gartner its due, what they know how to do well is promote their vision of the industry and market development. But who will be our North Star now? The Western market uh, is going to change. We will not be able to follow it closely. We do not have our own vision uh, here, on the other hand. Well, I think that we need to build up our own expertise. We need to educate people uh, who will have experience and understand the technology and uh, who will have hands-on experience and who would be trusted. I mean, it applies to any industry, especially in IT and InfoSec. 
what they need uh, to 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 grow up, so to say. They need a comfortable environment. They need a support environment, a supportive environment, and investment. It can't be cheap. This expertise doesn't come cheap. Very well. Then I would like now to turn to analytics monetization. We know that a Gartner report is expensive, and they're monetizing the expertise through the sale of their data. Here, everyone is used to public information, information that costs nothing, information for free. Do you think that we'll be able to have a switch to the Western model? Well, we also have closed reports. Uh, probably we haven't been using this model as actively as the open model, but we do have uh, reports for sale. Gartner, what Gartner did in uh, analytics, uh, they performed uh, qualitative analysis. And I think it's something that we need to uh, we, we need to go deeper into work with vendors, work with customers, uh, create better reports. The model is quite workable, I think. If I may, our experience shows that the more interesting exclusive information in the closed report, the higher are the chances of selling it to the interested parties. And here, we must go back to the idea of communication with the companies. It may sound like a for-profit story, but in fact, there are many interested parties there, from the government all the way to corporates. Yes, customers should also make their suggestions on which analytics they need, and they should be open to analytical companies by providing information, uh, by uh, letting themselves to be interviewed or questioned. We have five minutes left. Uh, there is another topic uh, that I think we must discuss. Many big customers today are switching to Russian analogs. They are substituting foreign products with Russian analogs. And they need to be sure that the vendor, that the manufacturer, has a sound uh, financial situation and a vision, because it's a risk. We are paying several million dollars today, and in a couple of years, the company will be uh, dismantled. The founders uh, will leave the company, uh, start a new business. Kirill. Well, uh, there is one tool, the credit ratings, it's what we do, it's what we specialize in. We are assessing the financial standing of the company, it's a regulated industry, it's been around for many years. And unfortunately, uh, not even information security, but rather the whole IT sector, just because uh, there, we do not have many classical listed companies, public companies, because not many companies are listing, uh, are trading their bonds. Uh, in fact, it's a quite an inexpensive service that can answer many of the questions that you've just raised. And uh, Russian, international, Western, Asian investors will all understand the credit rating. Apart from the regulated uh, segment, uh, I mean, you need to look at the company history, uh, the company track record and its current projects as well, whether the potential bidder, the potential uh, provider has many customers or not, how stable its orders are. I mean, all these things are not regulated. But we collect this information into a public knowledge database uh, basis. It's a, an efficient tool. Competition is very positive. The more different opinions there are, the better it is for the company itself. One contractor, I mean, you might suspect that there is vested interest, but you have to have many sources of information. And another quick question about the startups market. I think that 
we can forget about startups in Russia for the near future. I am of the opinion that the market will consolidate. All the small teams will be immediately brought up or picked up by bigger companies. Kirill, what do you think? Yeah. Well, the classical definition of startups, like a company existing for I don't know, in the next year or 18 months, there is no market of angel capitalism anymore. So yeah, uh, no classical stops uh, here, but maybe inside family offices of big investors, uh, we'll, we may be seeing some uh, small teams emerging. It's not it's not a startup as such, but it's a capital backed um, development. It's not going to be mass market, definitely. Yes, there is no, well, there are fewer angel investments. I agree. But uh, you know that we, we have ecosystems, we have uh, spin-offs, and uh, inside and around the ecosystems, the niches can, the niches can be taken by small companies, spin-offs from ecosystems. The companies that are set up with the money of big investors, big corporations, when companies work for big customers, uh, uh, the, the developers see a niche and the customer would be willing to finance as uh, a project like this. Uh, with different motivation schemes for the employees. Well, yeah, I, I think that the ecosystems, whether we're going to have three, five different ecosystems in a while, I think here the market will segment itself into the N number of ecosystems affiliated with big government-owned corporations. In many cases, it is already the case. Uh, look at uh, Ross Telecom or look at uh, Sparebank or Ross Atom. Ross Atom has lots of different stuff. Actually, <laughs> yeah, the important thing is not to lose that. Because it was a, a positive uh, development of the last several years, uh, it's important that we don't lose it and we need government support for it. Okay, colleagues, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you to all the viewers and listeners for being with us. See you later. Stay tuned for public and not very public analytics at our websites.